Hello, my name is Al Koritz. I am the Applications and Service Manager here at EMS, Electron Microscopy Sciences. Today I'd like to introduce you to a new coding tool introduced to our, our line, and that is the Mini QS, which is an entry-level sputter coder that's designed to uh, catered to laboratories with uh, tabletop uh, SEMs who don't need sophisticated coding capabilities or even regular tungsten uh, filament uh, electron source uh, SEMs. So what I'd like to do today is uh, show you the instrument in a little bit more detail and show you how to set it up and get it into operation. The Mini QS is an entry level sputter coder um, meant to produce coatings of three materials gold, gold palladium, and silver. The material that's installed in the sputter head needs to be changed if you switch materials but uh, as far as the instrument goes it's as simple as pressing a button to select the material that you wish to sputter. Down below here on the bottom row we have uh, the times that you can uh, coat your sample. You have 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and 120 seconds and again that's easily switched by just touching the button. Over here we have the vacuum meter so this is atmospheric. As it goes down, it gets to a higher vacuum. And we have a simple start-stop button, which puts the instrument into function. And then we have three indicators down here, which indicate uh, a fault condition exists. When the system is vented in an atmosphere, the chamber is easily accessed by lifting the lid exposing the sputter head where the sputter target belongs. The glass cylinder and implosion guard can easily be dismounted. There is a fixed stage of a particular uh, uh, height which is optimized for this particular instrument. On the back of the unit you can see the connection for the 16KF standard vacuum line which comes with the system. This port is a 6 millimeter push port for the argon tube uh, which is supplied with the instrument as well as a nitrogen uh, vent line 6 millimeter push tube if you decide to vent the system with uh, nitrogen gas uh, which I recommend. You can also vent the system with argon gas if you wish. If, if this is more convenient where you only have one gas bottle uh, in the room next to the instrument, uh, uh, you get the fittings in the accessory kit to uh, do all that. Standard uh, modular line cord for power, power switch, fuse, and this is the interface for the rotary pump. With the system, you get the modular line cord as well as the specialized cord which goes from the mini QS to the rotary pump. The other side of this uh, line is a standard modular fitting which plugs right into the power receptacle on the rotary pump that is usually purchased uh, with the instrument, which is a Pfeiffer Duo 6 pump. This is the Duo 6 pump, which is usually purchased with the instrument. You can see the blue oil mist filter mounted in its adapter on the right-hand exhaust port from the pump. You can see the vacuum line, which goes to the Mini QS. Uh, attached to the left hand port. Oil is added into the Duo 6 pump via this uh, cap which just unscrews 
and you fill the oil uh, somewhere between uh, half to two-thirds um, and you can visualize the level of the oil through the sight glass. Again, the modular line cord goes from the Mini QS special plug uh, to the plug receptacle on the duo pump. If you purchase a different pump with the system, uh, the setup might be somewhat different. This is the accessory pack that comes with the instrument, which has all the fittings you need to install, set up, and operate the Mini QS. You have the modular line cord, you have the power uh, cord, which goes from the Mini QS to the rotary pump, you have the oil mist filter, you have the tubing, you have the necessary clamps. The user guide is on this USB thumb drive. Uh, you comes with a gold target, uh, which I'll show you how to install next. Targets are easily installed and changed by unscrewing this threaded collar. Then inserting the foil target in this uh, device into the uh, the collar. It's called the target retaining ring. And then just tightening it back down. And I usually uh, center the target so the edge of the target shows on either side. And then I just lightly tighten it so it doesn't move around when you raise and lower the spider head. Once the target is installed, you can put your samples in the, on the sample stage, close the lid, select the amount of time that you wish to sputter, and simply, simply press start. The system will automatically pump down to the proper vacuum level. When it reaches the predetermined vacuum level, it will bleed argon gas into the system. Once the system determines that the pressure is stable, it will start the sputtering process and ignite the plasma, as you can see here in the chamber. We have our typical gold uh, plasma being formed. Your samples are being coated for the specified amount of time. And then the system will automatically stop. This is a turn it on and forget system. It will complete the entire cycle all on its own without any intervention. Once you set what material and the time and you make sure that you have argon turned on and your vent gas turned on if you're using a vent gas. The system can use anywhere between one PSI of pressure for the argon and nitrogen uh, up to 14 PSI. But I re really recommend that you use four to six PSI. system automatically will shut down and vent once the sputter process is complete. And there you have it. The Mini QS is a nice addition to the Qcoder product line that we distribute here at EMS. It's compact. It's just the right tool for your tabletop SEM. It allows you some versatility of, of three different metals, four different time intervals, and in the manual there's charts that will tell you approximately at different time intervals uh, how much coding has taken place. Thanks for your attention.